All right, fellas. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We're back out at the range with Canik TP9 SFX. TP9 SFX, it has a 5.2 inch barrel on it, lightning cut, and it is competition ready. I have not shot a Canik in quite some time. The last one I shot was my TP9 SF, and I brought that thing in like 2014, I think whenever they first came out, 2014, 2015, something around that time. I can't remember. This is optics ready, and it takes, uh, <clears throat> It takes uh, four different plates that they have to come in a box. This has been used, so I don't have the plate. It does have worn sights on it. The sights, the sights look fairly damn good. They look damn good on here. I like the blacked out orange fronts. It's a fiber optic. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the first shots on cardboard, make sure we're on paper, and then we're gonna move over to the steel. But before we go to the steel, we're all gonna do some fast transition shots. Oh, and it also comes with a 20 round magazine and it has the, the base plate on it, the extension plate to go on it. This will be the very first shots out of this thing. And we're running 124 grain ball ammunition. It comes from Academy. It's the Academy branded kind. Um, can't remember the name of it. I'll insert it. But it is brass. She's on. I am shooting left with it. It's my trigger pull. Those first 20 rounds ran good. I am shooting majorly left with this thing for right now. Uh, let's get one more magazine and try to get tacked in with our sights. <sighs> no, the sights are definitely off. And I don't have the tool to push it over. At this point, I'm just not going to show any of the accuracy because it is just horribly off. Let's see if I can adjust this with my own shots. Yeah, so it's shooting three inches to the left. However, I will say that I did put three three shots through the same hole I have to really compensate with my thumb to push it over a lot a little too much should not be that way Yeah, I don't know who had it before me, but they definitely did not zero these irons. They probably just had the red dot on it and just ran it from there, which is probably what I'm going to do with it. Let's go back to the steel. Yeah, so I can aim at the right side of the tip of the plate and I can knock them down. So we're going to get two more magazines loaded and then... I'll give you my impressions on it. All right, we're back. Let's run these plates down, baby. Make sure we aim at the right side of the plates. 
try to run them as fast as we can. Well, this first time, I'm not gonna run it fast. Set it up again, I am gonna definitely run it fast because I'm getting used to it. One thing I can tell you about it right now, same thing from my TS2, this magazine release, they say it's adjustable. I might have to push that in some because it is digging in my hand the same way the TS2 did. After two magazines, it just got unbearable. So we're gonna try to run these things down. Well, she just don't wanna fall. She don't wanna fall. fairly decent doesn't stack up to the cz's but this is not a cz this is a budget option comparable to some of the race guns like the the glocks and the mmp this is a very good trigger on here i forgot what it i forgot what it's modeled after i think it's a walter i can't remember what it is i don't know if it's a pdp or a P, pqp whatever i can't remember what it is y'all guys correct me in the comments but but what it just did just now, even though the sights are off, it did run those plates fairly decently. And I am at 10 yards. I have, I have enough to try to run that magazine. I have enough to try to run that rack one more time. So let's try that again. <laughs> She's starting to get a little warm. So I have to watch where I put my hands at. Four out of six, which has about 10, 12 shots. I am getting used to it. Did have some very good, uh, <clears throat> did have some very good reliability, which I haven't had any problems out of canics. I, as far as I can remember, I think, I'm gonna have to take that back. The old canic that I had, the TP9SF, around that, 3,000 round mark, it started having like double reset. So it will reset once and then reset again. I just hope I don't have this issue out of this one. Has some very good functionality. The slide cuts work as far as lightning cuts. It reduces the recoil so you can run it a little bit faster, but I will have to zero these irons in and go get a, a budget red dot or something like that. Probably a hollow sun. You guys know I stick with hollow sun all the time. That's pretty much all that I run. So with that being said, guys, if you want to see a full review of this thing, hit that like, share, subscribe, come back and enjoy some more videos and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.